evening, guys. Yeah, we were actually in downtown on another story when we got the alert to come here for this fire and we could hear the sirens and this smoke. Uh, the fire was pretty massive. We could see it from miles away. Now, thankfully, it doesn't look like anyone was injured and the fire has been knocked down at this point. I want to bring in Eric Scott. He's the PIO for LAFD. Good morning. What can you tell us about this? Good morning. Well, at 641, we arrived on scene for a reported structure fire. When we got here, we did have a large two-story commercial building with moderate smoke showing. It quickly became pressurized. We called for additional firefighters. We worked really hard to open up this building. So they used power saws to cut open gates to make access inside. And we got inside, they're doing business as ABC Toy Store. So there's some uh, business content inside. We had to also make our way up to the second story to really get to the seat of the fire. Um, so it was a little bit difficult access, it took time. Now there's over 100 firefighters here. This has now reached what we call a major emergency category, which is the largest that we have. And uh, the preliminary information is it appears possibly an outside fire had extended inside into this building. However, that's part of our ongoing investigation. We do have our arson section here per protocol. We're going to comb through the debris, talk to witnesses, and determine exactly what sparked the fire. So not an abandoned building. Does it look like anyone was hurt? Does it look like anyone was inside at the time? It doesn't appear to be abandoned. There is uh, contents inside. Of course, it's very dark, smoky, fiery conditions. It is difficult to determine exactly what those contents are. But yes, as you mentioned, the important news is nobody is injured. Eric Scott with the LAFD, thank you so much for that update. I do also want to point out that this building here has a lot of history. It's been around for decades, and it actually put this area on the map when this toy store opened back in 1979. So, again, the good news is no one was injured here, and the LAFD is still looking into what caused this fire. Reporting live in downtown LA, I'm Lena Bovian, KTLA 5.